Hello everyone. We just have downloaded and installed 10.4 beta. I was not expecting it to come tonight. A uh, few people had received it this morning. Uh, none from our group, but um, just a few random people we saw on Twitter and YouTube. And then um, I guess they called it good and pushed wide release to everyone. So basically, um, it's uh, 9 p.m. on the East Coast here. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a short drive through Saluda. This is what I did. Uh, I think it was like 10 knots 1.1 or something. Uh, there was a weird update in the like early morning Monday one day, and so I did. Uh, I did a drive to Saluda, um, and so basically we're gonna do this round trip drive here and kind of see how it goes. Fortunately, first thing first, still has the incorrect speed limit here. Um, I'll, I'll put these up on the screen so you can see it. But it looks like our GPS is accurate, so that's good. I'll see if that um, remains accurate because what's happening with this GPS bug, that seems better around that turn. What's happening with this GPS bug is that it will be good, like right now, totally good. And then all of a sudden, it just goes completely haywire. Navigating autopilot features unavailable. Interesting. Well, clearly I'm still in full self driving, so I'm not sure. We're not going on the highway. So, this is just going to be a quick drive for us. I'm just going to get a video up so you can see what type of features may be stored on next drive. side cameras included. I saw that Bojangles box in the middle of the road. It must be one of the B pillars. I guarantee you the B pillar is fogged up. Guaranteed you. That's what the problem is. Um, so hopefully that's not going to affect us here. It might, but we'll find out. Um, I'm going to see see it drop the speed limit down because this is, this is a 45 mile an hour road from where I got on the road to screw all the way here it dropped it has the it mapped incorrectly it's 25 mile an hour and it, I always have to override it this does seem better um, again curves wise you saw my just previous video um, it did significantly better around curbs. 10.3.1 did. Of course, this is 10.4, so we're going to see how it affects differently. I am fortunately not going to get to probably do any videos tomorrow. Maybe if I go out really early, I have it planned to... Um, my hand's on the wheel here. I have it planned, just so you can see. I have it planned to um, uh, do a lot of work on my house tomorrow. My mom's coming down to help me. Um, so that's what I'm planning to do. So maybe first thing in the morning I'll get a couple drives in and then I'll actually have Monday off to do some more work. So um, they will see see what they can give us. Now this might, I think it said the left camera on there. This might uh, prevent us from making this turn automatically. Now turn right onto Seminary Street. That's a much better slowdown for this. Oh. Kind of did uh, it did that exact thing last time we did this route, which is like three or four updates ago, uh, where it kind of just like break there. Uh, I, I answered there was a stop sign. The key is that well, it's not raining this time, but it is dark. It was dark last time, like mostly dark. Um, so it's going to be a very similar test. Besides, obviously, it's not raining. Uh, um, but what we're going to look for is if it misses the road again. It completely missed the road last time. And I think it also had GPS issues uh, up in here. This is, currently, we haven't had any. So we're gonna see if that presents itself here at all. It looks like it is a little bit, as you can see. Oh yeah, see the map, map data is wrong. In 500 feet, turn left onto Church Street, then turn right onto Henderson Street. This does seem improved on this road, I have to say. Now turn left onto 
Church Street. The map data is wrong. It... In 500 feet, turn left onto <laughs> Gaffney Street. Then turn yeah, okay, we'll go back to the map, map data. Is. Wow. It actually is a turn. I think the turn's right here. Now turn left onto Gaffney Street. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go ahead and report that. This is just, as you can see, very bad map data. Well, I, I don't even, I don't even know, this road doesn't exist. Um, so I don't even know what's going on there. But, um, what we're gonna do now is navigate us back the way we came to, uh, go to here. Now turn left onto Henderson Street. I see some things are still on that road. I need to get it to reroute us back here. Now turn right onto Gaffney Street. Yeah, see, like, that road doesn't exist. The, the car needs to stop relying on bad map data. In 500 feet, it's still trying to go around. Like, I can't enable full self driving because it's just going to me completely mess up. Now turn right there we go. West Main Street. Now, let's see if the B pillar cameras are fogged up at all. Wait, what? What am I doing? It doesn't... Okay. This is terrible map data. Like, you should be able to... Almost positive, you can take a left here. In 500 feet, and just go straight, yeah. To stay on West yeah, exactly. If it's going all the way around that way, for some reason. It made no sense. There's no traffic here. To stay on West Main Street. Yeah, so this is probably not the best test, everyone. So I apologize for that. But this is the closest town to me. It needs to stop, needs to stop, needs to stop, needs to stop. Okay, so that's our second disengage. Actually, won't. Well, okay. Yeah, so that, that was a weird situation. But yeah, I'm, everyone, I'm... Not the best test. This is the closest town to me. Um, it would take like an hour of driving to do anything more significant. Uh, and that just being 9 p.m., I need to wake up early tomorrow. So unfortunately, uh, not gonna be able to do anything more significant, at least tonight. But um, I'd say it's the tiniest bit better. No, it's still breaking for flashing yellows for some reason. Tiniest bit better than um, it was the last time we did this route. Clearly the map data is still a huge limitation in my area. I think that's why it's like an incredible experience in California. But then when you come over to a uh, rural part of Western North Carolina, then um, it's just not good. This is solely to North Carolina. If you want to look it up, look up the roads. The map data is just, uh, just straight up garbage uh, in, in this area. It's not good. It's so many errors that on just this small route, you saw the speed limits wrong. You saw the map data was off, like all over the place. And so it's just, uh, I mean, that just has to get fixed. Um, and I, like, as a human, I know that's wrong, but the car needs to rely on the map data like significantly. Uh, that turn, by the way, was actually improved. Yeah, it's because the B pillars parked up still. You know, I wonder. I wonder if it rerouted because the B pillar was included. It, it rerouted that, that one where it made a right turn when it really should have just made a left turn. I wonder if it rerouted navigation because it knew it couldn't see from the left. So it rerouted automatically to a route in, that it could see. I wish it could tell me which one, because it's not these. 
these cameras are uh, perfectly clear. Yeah, that's really interesting. I'm gonna, I'll put in the video, obviously, a, a chat. Um, I'm gonna look afterwards what uh, camera is being included. Uh, it's one of the B pillars, because uh, what happened is I drove Thursday and it was really humid in the car. I guess I should have used uh, AC. I was just stuck in an outside area. It just rained. And um, then the windows fogged up afterwards when I parked because it cooled off. And I think it got moisture back behind the camera. And so that's something where uh, I'll have to dry out the car tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow. Yeah, as you can see the speed, <laughs> the speed limit's still wrong. You saw the 45 mile an hour sign right there. I gotta say, it is improving around curves. It used to slow down on that curve, even at 45 mile an hour. And we got a car in front of us that's going somewhat slow. Oh, I forgot that that's right now where I'm stopping. Um, well, I guess that's gonna be the end of this video, everyone. Uh, slight improvements uh, noticeable so far. It, overall, definitely, again, seen smoother still. That's not what I want fixed. I want my map data fixed or I want to be able to fix it myself, or I want uh, just uh, it not to rely on poor map data. It's just as simple as that. So, everyone, I appreciate you watching. Uh, I know it's not much, but I will hope to get out tomorrow morning and have another video up tomorrow night. Thanks, everyone. Bye.